Why, hello there, it is I, the superest of Tajis. Now, I do know it's been a minute, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Fightcade in 2022. Now you're probably wondering, what in tarnation is Fightcade? Is that one of them there uh, online arcades? And the answer is, yes. With the rollback netcode. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get into the video. You guys are probably wondering, what is Fightcade? You know, I stream on Twitch, Monday to Friday, and uh, I've talked about it quite a bit, and I've had a lot of people ask me, Super Taji, what is Fightcade, and how do you do it? So I wanted to make a video on what it is, and I wanted to explain on how to actually install it. Alright, so what I need you all to do is head over to the Fightcade website. All you gotta do is type in Fightcade.com and you should find your way. Alright, so here we go. Fightcade, the best way to play retro games online. Fightcade is a matchmaking platform for retro gaming bundled with different emulators for seamlessly online play. So here you go. This talks uh, gives you a brief description here on what Fightcade is. Basically, all of your old school retro games, your fighting games, you've always wanted to play them online with your friends. Um, well, guess what? Now you can. So you don't actually have to physically go to an arcade, uh, which is amazing because I actually didn't have the opportunity to ex experience a lot of these games back then in an arcade. So yeah, our main emulator is Fightcade. FB Neo built on the modern FB Neo with a custom improved GGPO, which is implementation of rollback and better rendering core, making it the current best net play implementation for rollback based P2P online play. I think P2P means uh, peer to peer. But um, yeah, it's really incredible. So, what I need you guys to do is figure out what machine you have, and uh, obviously, choose the version that you need to download for me i already have it downloaded so i would click windows 7 8 slash 10 right click that and uh just save this anywhere i saved this on the desktop um that's normally where i save stuff so for the for the tutorial of this video we'll just save it real fast it says do you want to replace it i'm gonna hit no you hit yes hit the yes button right so yes, download the application. That is step number one. All right, let's talk about where do you extract this. I would save this to the desktop and whenever it's downloaded, you should see a folder. It'll say FC2 ROMs, right? Once your FC2 ROMs folder is extracted to your desktop, all you have to do is click, double click, have your mouse drag over all of these and right click, hit copy, close that. The next thing you need to do is find your fight kid folder. Double click this. Mine is a new volume D. It might, for you, it might be in program files depending on where it's saved, but find the main folder for that. And uh, this is very important on where you paste this because if you paste it in the wrong area, you might run into a lot of issues. So double click emulator. Now you see all of these JSON files. What I need you guys to do is you know how we copied these copy this right go back to your emulator folder and you need to paste this just in the base in the base directory of all of this so you should see some of the emulator stuff and you should see all of the json files and you might even see some text files don't worry that's that's 100 normal and you should be good to go for the most part Disclaimer, I am not a professional when it comes to stuff like this. This is actually my first tutorial. Um, but for some reason, whenever I first opened the application up and tried to join a game and download it, I actually ran into issues. It wouldn't work. And for me to fix that, all I had to do was open up Fightcade 1. So essentially what I would do to fix this, and sometimes whenever I turn my computer off and the next time I go to use it, um, just to be safe, I open the regular version of Fightcade. I just open it, close it, and then I log into Fightcade 2. Now, I normally do this if my emulator does not work the first time around, like if I want to download something new. If you guys have a way to fix that, please let me know. I'm not 100% sure why it does that, how it does it, but that is my fix. It could be different for everyone else. Okay, so once everything is done and placed in the right areas, now I'm going to show you all on how to actually join a lobby 
download the game and play online with some randoms or with some of your friends if you want to. When you go to the search tab, you might not have any bubbles here. Don't worry about that. I'll sh I'll talk about that in a minute. But whenever you open up Fightcade, this is basically a list of all of the games that everybody is playing. And if you want to play a game, all you have to do is scroll to that said game. Let's see here. Okay, kind of random, but uh, let's say we want to play Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. All you have to do is hover over the game and press join. And if you want to favorite it and keep it in your library so you don't have to search that game again, I would recommend doing that. That way it's in your library. So, you know, when you go here to favorites, it'll have all of your saved games there. Because when you download this, you can only join three lobbies at a time. So you see the circles over here? Yeah, you can only have three of those at a time, so keep that in mind. Let's say you guys want to leave a lobby. All you have to do is hover your mouse over here and just go to leave channel right there. It's pretty easy. It's not too hard. Just leave it. Click join. And if everything works, you should see a little black window like that pop up and it will download that said ROM. So in order to go and play some Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, click it. Now... This is pretty interesting. This is actually a lobby, right? So these are the list of players and you can actually just click on somebody's name. You right click on their name and you hit challenge if you want to play them. And so in order to test the game, all you have to do is go up here, test the game and you can actually do this and play single player too, which is cool. And if you want to map your inputs, go over here to map game inputs, player one, joystick zero and map your buttons. And that's pretty much it. It's extremely convenient too, because for me, it was just plug and play, which is awesome. Now, I'll actually showcase some, some clips from Twitch to show you guys like how smooth it is and how clean it is. It's really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. And if there's any questions, please ask me. I will try my best to answer. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Like if you all run into issues, Please let me know because I'm still new to this myself and I want to do more YouTube content on the channel. I want to do more fighting game stuff. It's been a long time since I've really uploaded. You know, it's the beginning of a new year and I want to put some more content out there on the channel. Now, if you guys are new here and you want to go follow my Twitch, it is Super Taji, same as the YouTube channel. I'll provide some links down in the description below. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Hope you all have a great day and I hope this video finds you well. If you did enjoy it, please be sure. Okay. So as you can see, I've been erupted by challengers. So yeah, if somebody invites you, you'll hear a you'll hear a loud notification for that game. But uh, we stream a lot of fighting games and I do a lot of variety and I'm actually going to do some more community driven stuff with Fightcade. So if anybody wants to join in on that, feel free to. I'll send some links in the description um, to my Twitch channel and the Discord if you guys want to be a part of that. And if this video finds you well and you want to share it with your friends, you know, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I know I got to say it, but I hope you guys have a great day and it finds you well. All right, so this game here is called Breaker's Revenge, and it's actually really awesome. Now, me and my friend Falchion are playing, and I'm located in Tennessee, and he's actually in Canada. And the quality experience of the online in these matches was amazing. We had no issues with, you know, input delay. Nobody was teleporting. It was smooth, especially with these old games. It's optimized extremely well. And uh, we're kind of we were kind of new to it, so we were just kind of pressing buttons to see what worked and what didn't work. But I wanted to show you guys just some footage of some gameplay here, so you guys could get an idea of like what to expect whenever you run it. And uh, this game is a little hidden gem I found out about from Justin Wong. You know, he does a lot of hidden gem or forgotten fighting game stuff on his channel. So whenever I got Fightcade working, this is one of the few games I was like, dude, we gotta play it. It's so sick. So as you can see, like everything is working really well and it's super smooth. And the thing about it is I've been having stream issues. So my stream has been kind of buffering at times 
And uh, even then, the connection is pretty smooth with the game. You know, I don't have any issues running the games. Also, let's not forget about the cursed Jackie Chan fighting game that is on here. Yeah. Here's me and Falchion playing Jackie Chan once again. <laughs> We've played this game multiple times. And uh, yeah, it's just goofy. Look at this. Yes, Jackie Chan hits you with his ass. I don't know why, but he just does it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the super. What the fuck? I'm safe after that? The game is so bad. It's so good. I hope that this video finds you well in the tutorial that I made helps some people out who are kind of wondering on how to use Fightcade. And um, yeah, with that being said, if it did help you out, please be sure to comment, like, and share it with some of your friends. And if you all are interested in joining the community and playing some games with me and some other friends, be sure to join the Discord link down below and be sure to follow my Twitch at Supertaji. I stream Monday to Friday, pretty much 11 p.m. to extremely late don't really have an ending time and uh, that's a problem that i'm working on but yeah with that being said hope you're able to play some of your favorite retro games online with some of your friends have a great day